everybody, welcome to Ellis Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching as always. It is Friday on the channel, and if I have a product to review on Fridays, this is when we, we uh, show it on the channel in a video. Uh, King Bolin sent me a battery tester, and we're going to try this thing out. It says that it, you can use it on 6 volt batteries, 12 volt batteries, and 24 volt batteries. It, they call it a battery analyzer. Basically, it tells you your battery health. Um, if you think it, if you think your battery may be on the edge or if it's getting old and you kind of want to figure out, hey, you know, is it time for me to get a new battery? You can use this to kind of test it out. So we're going to, I've got three experiments here. We're going to do one on a Troy build that has a, a battery that's only three years old. I'm going to, we're going to test out the battery on my Honda. It's about four years old. I know it's probably getting close to time. We'll see the health of that. And then we'll also see, um, a known dead battery to see how it thinks about that. So let me get this on the table over here. We'll take a look at this and then we'll start testing some stuff around here. Again, if you have any questions about this video, feel free to reach out to me, Ellis at ellismowers.com or at ellismowers09 on Facebook and Instagram. And also if you're a company that wants to uh, wants me to review products like this, that's lawn and garden related or outdoor related, um, feel free to reach out to me as well. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll have a link to the product in the description below. Um, show you pricing and whatnot. It's not too bad of a price. I think it's right around $30, maybe a little bit cheaper um, for this battery analyzer. We'll give it an open here and a little information on the back. It kind of tells you if uh, you have any issues, like a quick, uh, a quick guide here. Looks like we'll get we'll get it hooked up and we'll take a look at the instructions while we do it. Really simple here. It's nothing much to it at all. Um, and the package comes with a little twist tie. But apart from that, it's just a battery tester and you know, as long as this thing's good, I'll probably keep this thing around just to test batteries with. Because I feel like a lot of times I um don't bring batteries back to life like I could so that's I mean basically it. it's just your negative and positive leads here and then you have this and then we'll go through the instructions while we're at it it looks like all you got to do is hook this thing up press up down button to choose battery type press ok inputs your cold cranking amps and then um, it'll test it and then uh, we just push up and down to uh, do the test result it doesn't say if I have to disconnect the battery or not. We're going to try it without disconnecting the battery to see what happens. And then we may try to connect. Then we tr may try disconnecting the battery to see what happens. Let's get started. We'll do the Troy built first. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. I imagine this should work with the battery connected. So basically, all I'm going to do is connect the positive first. Remember, always the positive battery terminal first and then you connect the ground last so we've just fired this bad boy up we're gonna say 12 volts you see 12 volts is blinking here i hope that that is showing up okay on your screen maybe not 12 volts yes here we go cold cranking amps this is a 230 I like this thing already. We'll get there eventually. Let's see. 230. I think it's having a bad strobe effect here. but Alright, this thing's going to test its deal here. Let's see what we got. It says it has, still has 100. It says tested good. It still has 189 cold cranking amps, which is more than what most people have in these things. State of health is 68%. I knew this thing was starting to get a little weak. State of charge is 71%. That's some milliohms for, uh, I don't know if it's 13.68. 12.43 volts, which is pretty good. And so there you go. So this thing's at like, what, 68% health? It still says good. That's kind of cool. Let's, uh... Let's go test a bad battery, see if it'll even fire this thing up. 
while I'm here, I'm checking with the multimeter just, just to see how accurate it could be. Obviously, it's a cheap multimeter, but I think it said 12.43 volts, right? This is showing 12.56, so it's definitely in the ballpark if, like I said, that thing may be more accurate than this is, but I just wanted to show you all that before we go to the bad battery. All right, guys, bad battery time. I don't know if this thing is even going to light up, but we shall see. Positives on this side. Negatives on this side. And it doesn't even have enough voltage to light up. So I've tried to charge this battery a couple times and it's long, long gone. So I bet if you don't, if you have like less than 12 volts in a battery, it probably won't fire. Uh, I'll go, I don't think I have any other batteries that have a decent amount of voltage in them. But we'll see. Um, let's hit up the Honda next, see how it looks. And that third one that um, I didn't know what had milli ohms on it was it says the third one is resistance like internal resistance i don't know exactly how that is what it's supposed to be but i do know that it, whatever that battery and that troy build is the range in it is good enough for it to be a good enough battery to crank and run so all right guys we're on the honda now we'll try this out this is a 500 cold cranking up battery like i said i think it's about four years old so Let's see what we got. Seems like I've had good luck connecting this and testing it on uh, on a car. Man, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but we're checking how many volts. We have 12 volts. Okay. Cold cranking amps. 500. How about that? And so we'll test this thing out. Let's see what we're at. It says good. This thing's still got 449 cold cranking amps. That's good for it to be four years old. 81% state of health. That's awesome. And 83% state of charge. 5.78 mil ohms. So that's even better than the lawnmower. And 12.5 volts. That's perfect. So, works great on the car, works great on the mower. Gives you a quick synopsis of how your battery is. So that's awesome. Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, let's wrap this thing up. Obviously, it works great. I actually kind of like it because it gives you a state of charge, especially for the mowers, because I was actually questioning that Troy Belt battery to see how good it was, and because it would kind of lose charge over time. And uh, it is testing out good. So that's a, that's with it just sitting a, a few hours without it running. And, and you know, it worked just fine. So um, again, on Amazon right now, if you can see that, it's $25. And um, I'm not gonna call it a small engine essential, but if you do work on riding mowers or work on cars or whatever, it's, it, I mean, I feel like it's gonna be fairly useful. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Kind of cool item. Like I said, I'll put it in the description below. And uh, if you decide you want to, uh, if, if you decide you want to buy it, um, give you a state of health of the charge. I'm definitely going to keep it around as part of my toolkit here. Um, that way I can test batteries, especially if I think they're questionable, um, to see if uh, if it's one that I trust to sell on a riding mower or, uh, or whatever that may have a battery small engine related that I have here. So thank you again, King Bolin. They're on Amazon for reaching out. They have uh, OBD2 scanners, uh, I think brake fluid tester, and a couple of other items that they mentioned to me whenever I was talking to them. Um, and uh, this, as for the battery tester, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It works really well. I was thinking that it was gonna seem a little bit cheap, but even feels good in the hand quality seems like it's all right screen resolution's good um and provides you enough information to kind of know where your battery is at um to to maybe you know replace it before you get stranded on the side of the road if you're driving your car or something along those lines uh worked pretty well thanks again king bowling for sending me this uh battery tester 
again, a link in the description below. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com or ellismowers09 on Instagram and Facebook. If you're a company that would like for me to test products that are lawn and garden, automotive related, outdoor related, feel free to reach out to me as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.